Hi everyone, so this video will describe the data analysis for the fine soil classification. So as you can see here, this is an example of the data. Alright, so the table below shows the results of cone penetrations and rolling and crumble tests on the fine green soil. So what we need to do here is to classify the soil according to the British soil classification system. As you can see here, we have the two set of the data. The first one is from the cone penetrations and the other one is from the rolling and crumble test. So the cone penetration test objective is to get the liquid limit and the rolling and crumble test, the objective is to get the plastic limit. So for this first part of this video, we will go detail for the cone penetration test to get the liquid limit. How we are going to analyze this uh, cone penetration data to get the liquid limit. So for the solutions of this exercise, whether for the liquid limit or for the plastic limit, so we will refer to the BS1377 part 2 1990 for the method of test for soil for civil engineering purposes. So let's start with the liquid limit. So for the liquid limit, we will refer to the data from the cone penetration test. Alright, so we will refer to the cone penetration test. This is the data, okay, as shown previously. So you can see here we have five container in this example with the different uh, value of the penetration depths. This is differ because from one to another uh, uh, penetration, we need to add the water, the amount of water. So that's why we have the various penetration depths. And we also need to record the mass of container for each uh, sample because we want to know the exact a mass for the soil sample use and then uh, don't forget to get the mass of the container with the wet soil all right so once you complete uh, penetrate uh, for each sample we need to get some amount of the sample put it into container and then wait uh, to get the uh, mass of container plus the wet soil and then the next day after the sample after five different sample in each container Okay, we oven dry for 24 hours. So the next day we need to come and wait again to get the mass of container plus the dry soil. Alright, so the reason why is actually to get the moisture content. So from this given information, we need to come up with the moisture content. So how to do that? So we need to add another row for to get the mass of wet soil here. To get the mass of the dry soil, mass of water, and finally to get the moisture content. So you need to complete the data. Right? So you can use this equation. This is very straightforward actually. It's a common sense to get the mass of wet soil. So once we have the mass of the container itself, and then once we have the mass of the container with the wet soil, by minus it with the mass of container, you can get the mass of wet soil because we want only the mass of the soil. Alright. Same goes to the uh, mass of the dry soil. Alright. Simply uh, deduct from the mass of the container plus dry soil. So you can get the mass of dry soil. Sorry. And then for the mass of water, it's mass of wet minus mass of the dry soil. You just minus these two value. You can get the, sorry. All right. So the mass of wet minus with the mass of the dry soil, you can get the mass of water. And then finally, the moisture content is actually from the mass of water divided by mass of the dry soil times with 100 to get it in percentage. As you can see here, this is how we get the data after the calculations of the data for each container. So here we have five different moisture content. 
So you can see that the pattern or the trend of the moisture content since we um, keep increase the amount of water, so the moisture content will in increase. So now what we need to do with this value, all right? So what we need to do with this value, so let's go for the next step. So we need to plot the data using the normal graph linear scale. All right, so you need to plot for the y-axis is the penetration and the x-axis is the water content or the moisture content. So this, uh, this is the data. So this is for the penetration is for the y-axis and we have the moisture content. This is for the x-axis. So you plot on the graph paper. Or you can also plot on the uh, an Excel, Microsoft and Excel. So you can see the distributions of the plot here. So then what's next after you have the plots? All right, so you need to draw the best straight line fitting the plotted point. Okay, you need to consider all the points. All right, so this is how we get the best fit line. And then, so from this, we can determine the liquid limit is actually from this graph all right so we need to read off the moisture content corresponding to cool penetration 20 mm all right so look at the penetration y-axis so this is the 20 mm horizontally from 2 mm uh, straight to the uh, straight line here and then going down uh, intercept with the x-axis and then you get the intersection point to get the value of the water or moisture content here. So from here, it will give you W is 46.5. The moisture content here is 46.5. So actually, this is the liquid limit. But then we need to express the moisture content to the nearest whole number. So 46.5 is close to 47. All right, so LL is 47%. So meaning that it, this is actually the liquid limit, which is the 47%. All right, so this is how we get the liquid limit. So on the next video, we will continue with the plastic limit.